Not everything blew up in the Calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The Cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. So in a way, the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors too. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. Fault our people for their natural curiosity now, can you? Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. discovered other things were better 
off not knowing. The unforgiven scent of sulfurous dirt. those things, but you can't eat them. Never thought we'd find so much life in all that ash. sifting through the cauldron secrets anyway. to keep out of the cauldron. Places inhospitable as they come. But still we pressed on. Colford Cauldron. Look down through all the smoke and flames.
We had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bog. Kid's thinking he's got to trek all the way back around the cauldron. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Biggest stink eye he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Well, it ain't polite to stare. Where there's one stink eye, there's always more. Children's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Kid don't shed any tears for me. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it.